Broadway Spark and Sanity. This here is Chris, who's usually behind the camera, our host with the most, whose brain is quite possibly toast. Welcome to Fireside Cigars, your one stop spot for tobacco knowledge. Other kinds of knowledge, too. That's not good for camera. Hmm. Good afternoon. Welcome to Fireside Cigars. This is Josh. And I'm Connor. Today we'll be reviewing the Nub Cafe Macchiato, or Cappuccino, rather, I'm sorry. Now, I know on the, uh, in the last teaser video we had, we talked we were going to get the espresso. Unfortunately, I had waited a little bit too long to actually get the damn cigars, and they were out of stock, so we had to make do. Still an excellent Nub cigar, you know, absolutely recommended. And I think the three of us definitely agree with Chris behind the camera shaking his head. It is an everyday cigar. It's something we can constantly smoke because it's a great cigar. Now, the wrapper on here, you're going to see that nice, natural, Connecticut shade. However, on the filler of it, actually the filler and the binder are both Dominican tobaccos. Now that, combined with the with, uh, with Nub's infusing process, gives it a nice, sweet, coffee almost hazelnut sort of flavor, but we'll get more into that in the second part of the video. Now tonight, Connor is going to show you actually one of the better cuts for an everyday cigar like this, because it's usually the cut that most cigar smokers start with, the double guillotine. Yeah. So this right here is a double guillotine cutter. There's a few variations we have on the table pretty regularly. This is a Perfecto. Same style of cutter, difference with a Perfecto is you've got this little barrier back here to avoid you from cutting too much of the cap off. Now, there are also single guillotines where you have one blade going straight through, if you can see that at all. And um, I, I actually almost prefer a single guillotine just because it makes a straighter cut, in my opinion. Um, Fair opinion. Most reason why people do prefer a double guillotine to a single guillotine, this is for the people who are in the double guillotine camp. If you get it right and you have a steady hand, you can sometimes get a cleaner cut. But at the same time, that's if you have a steady hand and not carpal tunnel. Um, but the, that is one of the drawbacks of the single of the double guillotine. However, some of them, and I don't have one, some of them have a back that will actually give you a little bit of a more more support, I guess you could say, for an even cut. Right. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and your middle finger. Hey, everybody. <laughs> um, and you're going to hold it like this. Then you're going to take your nub. And uh, you're going to call your rabbi first to make sure that this ceremony is kosher. And uh, you're just going to gently apply. And pressure to the head. Gently apply pressure to the head evenly. <laughs> Not all at once in a jerky motion, because that's that'll uh... end your night early. And just like that, you can see that that cut, well, not super clean. It's fairly clean. Um, these pro this probably isn't the best double guillotine cutter. If you want something that's going to give you a super super clean cut, go with a Calibri or a Zycar cutter. Super super sharp blades, and uh, they're they they've all got lifetime warranties on them. I think. Um, Absolutely. Any, any problem, you can send it back to the factory. Um, now, you'll notice I just cut a very little bit off the top. That's really all you need. Um, you know, if you end up cutting too much off the top, you might end up like Josh's last girlfriend. Unhappy. Yeah. Well, there's a few reasons for that, but <laughs> I can't defame anyone on camera. Uh, well, we're going to start smoking this and we're gonna come back and let you know what we think hey guys just wanted to give a little bit of a preview of some of sorts halfway through the cigar we were all more or less even on it um, depending on how quickly we've been uh, smoking the cigar texting amongst ourselves <laughs> um, so what are your thoughts so far on the cigar Connor I've been getting a lot of you know really nice sweet nuttiness We've also kind of gotten like a little bit of a maple syrupy, especially on the rich on the retro hill. Um, what about you? Anything? I think of similar notes. Uh, I have a confession to make. Uh oh. I'm not a big fan of this cigar just because it's a lighter cigar. 
I don't like light cigars. Um, and that's one of the things you're going to find. You're going to find that there are cigars that I know, tasting them, they're excellent, but they're just not to your taste. Let's do a real ta quick test here, though. One of, for those who don't know, one of the ways to determine whether or not a cigar is very well constructed is by the ash. Now, you want to leave the ash on for as long as possible most of the time. And uh, sometimes you can see if they'll stand up on their end. Connor, you like a nice firm nub, don't you? Well, it's better than you. It kind of likes to play around with it until it gets firm sometimes. Giggity. Well, I got nothing. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Fireside Cigars. We're going to finish this up by giving our final thoughts for the uh, Nub Cappuccino. For me, the cigar didn't really change too much. The room note kind of changed a little bit. You got more of that really sweet, hazelnutty, somewhat maple syrupy, you know, that really delicate, rich sweetness, which I know sounds like an oxymoron. The cigar itself, I know Connor has a little bit different opinion for, of it, but it didn't change for me. Now, that's not a bad thing, because I still do enjoy the cigar. It's one of the few lighter-bodied cigars that I do enjoy. So I'm going to give it probably about a 7 out of 10. But don't go into this expecting the most complex cigar out there because it's not going to be anything that's going to be changing constantly. But it's something that you know you're going to be able to enjoy. I think we've touched on it before with the utility cigars. Yep. This is certainly, for me at least, would fall into that category. Connor? Well, I'm not a bit as big of a fan of lighter bodied cigars, so I give it a slightly lower rating. For me, the light Connecticut wrappers in part more of a skunky kind of flavor. That's just my taste buds. If you like a cigar that we might not have a favorable review of, that's your taste, and everybody has different tastes. It's perfectly fine. A lot of people get into smoking cigars through the acid line by Drew Estate. I think they're garbage, but that's, you know, if that's how you're going to get into it, I'm glad they're around because somebody's, you know, giving you a stepping stone onto greater things. Or if you stay with acids, that's fine. <laughs> but, yeah, more of the same. Um, I know, I'd say that the cappuccino flavor is a little more pronounced at the beginning and then moves more to the back end of your exhale uh, towards the end of the cigar. Um, next week, I won't be here. Uh, oh, and by the way, I give it about a, a 6.5. Next week, we're, we're going to have uh, Mini-Me as a stand-in here, um, and the topic is probably going to be Cubans, a lot of misconceptions people have about them, why they're not as great as everybody raves, and um, yeah. So that's that. Um, additionally, we will be bringing a cigar in too, not, so, you know, we don't bore you too much with the politics. <laughs> Um, we're likely, depending on inventory again, because we gotta, I gotta see a few things. It's gonna be an A.J. Fernandez cigar. It's most likely gonna be their newest cigar, the Bellas Artes. But if I can't get a hold of those, the New World. Both of those are phenomenal cigars, just like anything by A.J. Fernandez. So, unless you two and Chris behind the camera have any final thoughts. I just wanted to say that I give it an 8 out of 10 bullets. I, uh, I prefer this cigar. It's about a 45 minute to an hour smoke, depending on how quick you smoke it. And um, the flavor was solid all the way through, you know, again, not super complex, but was very consistent all the way around. Um, if you're sitting around a bunch of people smoking, they're probably not going to bitch about this one because it smells pretty good. I'm good with that. Yeah. Well, well my last comment is that the, the nubs, for being so small, they do smoke for a long time. Mm -hmm. Ladies, unlike your boyfriend. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's all we've got. Thank you for watching. Tune in next week on Fireside Cigars.